viewers, we're sitting in a 385 waiting for our AI driver to take control. It's due to leave in under a minute, so that should be pretty soon. And when the driver does take control, not that you'll see them because currently they're invisible, but when they do take control, we're going to have a go at guarding this train. So the AI does retain some control over the doors, but if, if we uh, do things well enough, we get to have a crack. So just sitting here waiting for the invisible driver to appear now. Because it should be pretty soon, we're due out in 10 seconds. Is. You can hear them switching things on and doing things, so I'm going to take control of the doors by pressing that button for the, for the left and that button for the right hand one, and I think I accidentally closed the doors, but we won't let that worry us too much. Now I'm going to close off our driver and head for the back of the train. Now we do have doors open at the moment actually, so let's turn our panel on local door open because that stops the AI driver from being able to close them. Bunch of people down there. No one seems to be getting in or out though. I have a faint suspicion I interfered with the AI driver when I opened the doors then so let's, uh, let's close our doors. That should close all the doors except ours. Indeed it has. We now go in and do local door close and let the driver know and he's probably going to open them again. Alright so he's ready to go so let's head off down the back of the train because that's where the guard normally works from. And it will get a bit noisy as we go through these uh, intermediate doors now we don't exactly have to hurry because we're almost there anyway and our next stop is Bishop well, we've just gone through the tunnel and everything went blue momentarily I'm trying to remember whether Bishop's is a, a right door, in which case we need that box, or if it's a left door, in which case we need to go into the first class section. But anyway, I think we'll wait in first class down here. Just jump in the chair. No need for us to be standing up. Lovely view out there of the inside of an unlit tunnel. Quite delightful. Doesn't really get better than that. Actually, there's one sneaky thing we could do while we're waiting. Just go through down here. You can actually look out the back door. I certainly wouldn't recommend doing this in an in-surface train because, well, you might fall off. That's never happened, honest. cruise along through the Scottish countryside having left Glasgow close that up turn off our torch and wait for bishops I can't remember which side it's on that side or this side really not sure Lovely early morning light though. Branch line taking off there.
is the big yard just outside Glasgow. I do see a lot of red doors there. I wonder if we can go inside those. Hmm. Gonna have to try that. Are they red just because they're red in real life, or are they red because we're allowed in? Good question. Let's go and uh, take a pew, as it were, as we go through this rock cutting. Normally, of course, you'd be walking through the uh, train asking the passengers for their tickets, but, well, even though the train was full, they all got off. So I think perhaps it has an unload all rather than a load all instruction in its scenario. Well, we are slowing down. It's a good sign. Still not sure what side, though. I'm guessing left. We've got a car park on that side. We've got track on that side. So unless it's an island, it'll be a left. There we go. Let's get our panel open. Get it turned on. Do local door open as we come to a stop. Quick look. Make sure it's safe. Duck back in and do the release. And then sneak off down here to put up a new map. Because of course that's something guards do in the middle of their duties. Not. Alright, wait for the people to get in. Have to go and check a few tickets in a moment. That looks to be about it. And the driver still closes all the doors. But we can close ours and signal the driver that it's right to go. Switch off our panel. Shut the door. And now let's go and check some tickets. I don't think anybody got in at this end. But we can uh, wander up through the very noisy passageways. G'day, mate. Ticket. You know, in America, they'd taser you if you didn't have a ticket. Just saying. Very green eyes, that fella. Kind of matches his tie. Tickets, please. All right, dear. Ticket, please. Tickets. Hey, hang on. Something going on here. They're related. Tickets. Check your tickets. Tickets. Look, I know you all got on here. Check your tickets. Check your tickets. Remember to give these seats up for the uh, people who need them, folks. Tickets. Tickets. Must be ladies' day on Scott Rail today. So we've got no one in this carriage. And no one in this carriage. Alright, we've reached the front. Now uh, let's just head back down where we came from. I'll just leave the doors open, it'll be quicker. Can't open the door. Oh dear. So I won't leave those doors open. It's interesting how they get loud when you go through them in one direction. Back into the cycles and first class section. It's our lovely train. How to get on and off in emergencies. Lovely morning light.
Feels like we're slowing down again, so perhaps we're coming to the next station. Once again, I'm waiting to find out if it's right or left, because I haven't done this run enough yet. station over there. I think it's going to be a left-hand station. So let's see it is. Let's get our panel open and switched on. Hmm, looks safe enough. I'll get the doors open and go and do the map. As you do. So we're at, we've been to Bishop Briggs, we're at Lindsay, next stop is Croy. <whistles> See all the doors close. Pretty good, and we can close ours. Right then, panel off. Go and watch out the back door as we leave this station. Why not? Hi, people. Don't you wish you had keys so you could do this? Right then, let's go and check some tickets. Tickets, please. Oh, I saw you before, didn't I? Very good. Seen you. Seen you before. Seen you. Oh, I've seen you. Seen you. Seen you. Seen you. Had a few people get off there. Doesn't look like anybody got on. And it looks like this one's empty again. That appears to be it. No one up there. That's what you do to amuse yourself, really. Just walking backwards. What's that PIS? down into first class where we can just uh, take a pew again. Stare out the window. Stare out that window. The flaring's a nice effect but it is a, a little bit pixely. Amazing how quickly you get into the countryside. It's such a populous nation, but they still have uh, great green swaths of countryside. Of course, if you don't like the uh, the light you're getting, you can, of course, close it. Don't know why. So if it's a bit bright for you, you can certainly do that. Lost most of its texture, that one, so you can't quite read it. This one survived well, though. Putting a stop to fair evasion. Buy before you board.
probably is a fair way, so uh, might as well just jump back in the chair, I guess. A cement plant there by the looks. Feels kind of like we're slowing down. I'm guessing it'll be on the left again, so I'm just going to flip open the box. Joke will be on me if it's not on the left, because I've got to lock this one. There we go. Wait till we come to a, a stop. I see a missing poster back there. I've got to put that up. Alright, here we are at Croy. Ah, oh, looks safe enough. Let's open the doors. Hello, cow. Better do the map over here, too. And better get back to my train, because he's closing the doors already. Such an impatient driver. They are all closed, so we can jump in and close our door. Buzz him away. All right. Turn it off. Oh, I would. There we go. Well, that's it for this service, in fact, because it only goes to Croy. So it'll turn around and go the other way now. So why don't we uh, go and explore Croy while that happens. The route map. See what else we can find around here. Oh, I see a haggis. Hello, haggis. Stairs. Can we go upstairs? No, we can't. Naughty. They want us to jump over and walk on the tracks. Go up there? No. Looking for a briefcase. Land of invisible walls. Hello, people. Hello, 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 hello. Cow poster. Haggis. Oh. He is leaving. Oh, well. It must go off to a portal or something. Hmm. Does this one work? No, this is one of the working ones. What else have we got in here? Nothing. Well, that's pretty much all this station checked out. We haven't been over the top of the stairs, though, so let's see what's up there. If anything. Ooh, grassy stairs. Nifty. Must be deep pile carpet or something. Now that train we were on, I imagine we'll go up there somewhere and do a crossover and then come back. Because, in fact, look at that, there's another train coming. Ooh, it's late. It did say 8.35, but it's late now. That's probably what he was waiting for, in fact. Anyway, that's enough for guarding on the 385 on the edinburgh Glasgow route. Hopefully you found this a little bit entertaining. Um, is it a true guard mode? No, it's not. It's still a little bit of AI involvement. Is it the best one we've got yet? 
Yes. Is it the second one? Yes. So thanks to Rivet for having a crack at this and putting it in, because I think it adds a new dimension to the game where you can operate as a guard instead of being a driver. Or you can do both. Personally, I find it a bit hectic if you try and do both, running around in the carriage all the time. So uh, I'll do one or the other. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And enjoy yourself. See you later.